Hello, it's Tigris98 here. I got a couple new DVDs and there will be four on on packing or I could say unboxing. I just hope DVDM won't uh, won't get mad. Uh, again, DVDM, I'm using your word unboxing in this video. And but um I noticed that you haven't been on, but and for Cruella's for Coat, I do have a new Disney film. I've wa thank you. You were highly recommended by DVDM. And um, Cruella's for Coat. I dedicate this vi I dedicate one of the movies in this video to you. I'm not sure if you've seen it, but well, anyway, I will start with the triple pack of Bring It On. It is still in its DVD box until I could get more CD slip covers and stuff and whatnot. Um, I got this. I got this like last Thursday on my break. Um, today is Thursday once again, and I do have a huge break, and my brother's home for his reading week, so he drove me around. I got this at our, our shoppers for nine ninety nine, and. I'll show you how it looks inside. It's a triple CD pack. So, it has Hayden Penetary and uh, the normal Bring It On. So, Bring It On. Then there's All or Nothing Bring It On. And then there's Bring It On Fight to the Finish. That's all I really have. Um, I don't have that Hollywood one. I'm not sure. It, it, is the... It, can someone tell me if there is any more bring it on or is it just bring it on fight to the finish bring it on all or nothing and bring or, and just bring it on can someone just just write me a little note okay now for the unboxing uh, I do have one a little open I started opening it so I'll s finish opening and it's w Mark Wahlberg and Jackie and Phoenix Eva Mendes and Robert Duvall film and it's called We Own the Night. I, I've, I've seen this in many DVD, um, uh, DVD updates, and so I decided to get it since I love Mark Wahlberg. So I'm gonna unpack it. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, I just took that out, and it's brand new. Ew, special features. I wonder if it... Oh, and it's one CD. So th there's a CD in here. We own the night. I saw this in... Um, I would have got this in uh, the Hawk Shop, the little movie thrift store we have. Um, but I decided not to because it's it, the Walmart is much more closer to me. So I got this one at Walmart, and now, oh, I'm going to have, just wait a second, oh, maybe not, oh, there's tops, little, oh, there we go, I think I got one of the, I hate these tops, and, um, I am looking for the Chihuahua, they keep saying, in every Chihuahua film, there's a tiny little Beverly Hills Chihuahua, and I love chihuahuas. I do have a teeny beanie baby chihuahua. Um, deluxe to, uh, diva, diva something. And, um, then there is, uh, the deluctable. I think my sister had the diva one. This one came from Disney Movie Rewards. It's halfway done. And as you can see, it's an all-new movie. I only got it because of the price. And I love Disney movies. I would spend my whole life at an actual next year. I am going to Disney World, so there we go. Um, let's just put the wrapping away. So this is Beverly Hills Chihuahua 3. And I won't get into the plot very much, but... It says, Papi is back and he's ready for a party from the studio who brought you Chihuahua, Be Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Uh, you are invited to the ultimate celebration of family and friendship. And 
Pappy joins uh, the two-legged friend uh, in posh Beverly Hills Hotel, luxurious pap doggy spa. There is trouble among Pappy Paradise with Rosa. The members of the pack feel smaller and less special than ever. ever. Um, so Rosa is Pappy's little um, daughter. And what happened is, in this movie, she feels a bit lost. And, um, so they, I'm not gonna break it, but they go on a va family vacation and stuff like that. And their pappy thinks of an idea to make her happy again, but I'm not gonna say what he does. Um, I'm gonna check what... Oh, and then there's the movie rewards. Calm, enter the magic code. Cool, go march. Oh, get a free plush. Oh, I guess I could get a free plush. Uh, do not, it says do not discard. And then there is a little booklet here. About, um, what movie specials there are. They, I've seen the little, um, Disney stuff here. This one. Oh, Basil the Great Mouse Detective. It's already complete your Disney... Uh, then there's Finding Nemo. I already have P Pixar's Finding Nemo. Disney's Pixar's Finding Nemo. Um, I've already got this. Uh, I don't have Brave yet. I'm looking for the DVD Brave, but I think I'm going to find it when I go to Disney World and I'll probably get it. So... Um, then there is this... Then there's the two-pack of... The Cinderella. I was thinking of getting this, but I noticed that it cost $29. When this one cost me, like... When this one cost me only 14 so I got that one. And then there's this... All new movie from the creator, The Buddy. So, this is... This, this would be part of the series of the Air Buds, the Santa Paws. I haven't really watched... Santa Paws, but I've seen Santa Buddies, and I own it downstairs. It's actually downstairs uh, by my big by my big TV. I would watch. I normally would watch my movies on my computer, but I have a problem with the CD. And then there's a new. Um, I'm not sure Cruel's for a code if you heard, but there's a new uh, Tinkerbell movie that is called The Secret of the Wings. So this one's dedicated to you. And I'll go to my Disney All, all Access. Uh, unleash the Fiesta. Get Pappy and Plushy with some bread. Um, these are on the front and so the earn points. Unlock these offers. A box free. So, what I have to do. I want to get the free Rosa plush, but then I'd have to add $19.99 to get the Pappy plush, but that is okay because I want the Rosa plush. I have some, I don't have all my plush, movie plushes upstairs. I have them in a box downstairs since I was doing flooring and everything, but it, there's a code here, so I'm just going to cover my code. So I got a movie rewards code with the DVD. And I'm going to get the free plush. That, that is what I'm going to conquer with my movie collection. Then next is the Karate Kid. I've seen... Yes. Yes, DVD-M. I don't know if anyone answered your question. But yes, you are right. It does say the Karate Kid. And I th I believe if you got the, the Karate Kid, the one with uh, Jaden Smith, it's just called the Karate Kid. But yes, you're right, the series uh, is called The Karate Kid. And um, I'm opening it right now, and it, as you can see, it's $9.99. Again, I got it at my Shopper's Drug Mart. There was a Clint Eastwood for those Clint Eastwood fans. I am going to start a con um, DV... I am going to um, actually... Let's get it unwrapped. Okay. I started it. 
Oh, here's another side. And it's only three now, and my dad is coming today, but these were all on s warning. Um, some of these, the store, the stores I actually went to had a reading week sale. We, we have something here for students called reading week. I don't know if it works in UK and, um, wherever, who else for quote you live, uh, but this is the triple feature set. So they're all with the same actor. Of the Karate Kid. There was one with Sandra Bullock, but I couldn't get that one, sadly. But I got the Karate Kid, uh, the Karate Kid, the Karate Kid 2, and Part 3 in this one whole set, which I thought I was really lucky. Oh, and then there's only one disc. So I'm guessing how they play these movies is on one disc. I'm hoping. Um... What it says, there are plots back here, so I'm not going to read. Th An elderly martial arts expert uh, Pat teaches a high schooler, Ra Ralph Mucci, to defend himself from bullies. I don't know. Do you say the Ralph Macchio or Mucci? I don't know how you say that. Miyagi travels to Japan to confront an enemy of his past. A brilliant co uh, collision and com co culture combat. Daniel's in danger of losing it when he is in pride and uh, principle of power and the hits in the film. So this is part three is Dan Daniel having the competition and stuff like that. And he's about to lose it again. Five bucks in the five dollar bin. I was lucky today when I went and I found two Mark Wahlberg films. I was going to go to the HMV sale, but I noticed the happening cost like $20. But there is $20 for two, but instead, instead how I got it today, I got $20 in Walmart. All these, because I have, well, I put five bucks in and ten dollars, ten dollars, I added, I added a couple dollars. But I noticed when someone was surfing, they just left them uncovered. I'm like, oh, Mark Wahlberg. And I am unboxing it. And I did not see The Fighter, but I did see Contraband on the movie network. I have the movie network now, and I promised my mom not to buy any more DVDs. But, oh, well, you know how that goes for me. Um, ah, I have a piece of plastic that won't get off me. Anyway, we're on opening it. So we can see what's inside. Uh, I don't know how YouTube is gonna react on this. Sorry, I'm hoping YouTube does not delete this Just because the pictures are I have a couple posters. I have the Skyfall poster. I got when uh, Cineplex came to my school actually. Oh, and it's still not open Because I hate these little I hate it when these I love the fact that sometimes if you go to um Rexall, there is previously owned and stuff, movies there, and they're only like five bucks at the Rexall nearby, and the Rexall is walking distance at my house, actually. So, for my house, I have a walking distance to Rexall. I could get DVDs there, but I chose to go to Walmart today, since I was going to the bank anyway. And Zoe Deschanel plays in this movie. This is supposed to be one of the scary, um... Scary movies of Walt Mar Mar Walt Mar uh, Mark Wahlberg. Um, and what it says in this heart apocalyptic thriller from M. R. Knight's uh, director of The Sixth Sense. So again, I do have signs in the six. I don't have six. I bel I think I have six senses on my external hard drive. My uncle gets me most of my movies, but. So, basically, if you haven't seen this movie with Mark Wahlberg, watch it. It's called The Happening. I don't know who is in it. I don't know the little girl who's in this, but there's a ton of great known actors in this. And this was a great... I love this director, uh, M.R. Knight. Written and directed by M.R. Knight Shylan. Uh, and I'm thinking about this... I I'm guessing that this movie is whatever... 
these people live through and everyone starts it, it, well anyway the 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 box looks really cool that's all i really got and um i will update you if i got that beverly hills chihuahua dog i have a couple points um and i will be doing a little tiny i will write uh, hopefully I'll inbox you uh, Cruella's fur coat if you do want a sl two slip I believe I have two slip cover a couple slip covers I'm not um, for Beverly Hills Chihuahua I do not love slip covers whatsoever I'm actually happy that this movie did not come with a slip cover I might keep one of the slip covers just because that's shiny and it's lovely but I will get you I'm hoping to inbox you about the slip cover for Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2 and 1 if you do want it. Oh, and this funny thing, a movie about Mexico and this DVD box was made in Mexico. So I'm actually quite so you get two products from Mexico. I'm actually quite glad they made a third one. And it does have a DVD. It says it's DVD. There was no Blu-ray. But I found that... I found, like, at the sale that there was Blu-rays for $15. They had... But I didn't have enough money. I would... Well, I do have enough money, but I'm saving enough to go to Vegas. And I'll probably get a Chris Angel Halloween special. The one that's missing from my Chris Angel collection. That did not come when I... Or I actually bought it from... It was already wrapped, and I bought it from HMV for Christmas. Long, long time ago, I invested my money in the Chris Angel special. And I do have the DVD box still, because it's... And the Chris Angel book, it came in the Digi book. I am getting a couple Digi books. I do have a couple of external hard drive James Bond movies. But I am putting them all on CD, so bear with me. I know you're not supposed to put them on CD, but I have James Bond movies on CD because it, it came from a gift from my cousin and she wanted that. So those are all my DVDs. I'm hoping that they'll fit in my little uh, slip thing over there. Ah, uh, and uh, that's about it. I will gladly, I'm not, I'm not into trading films that I own. But, well, maybe one. Maybe I'll exchange one for something I don't have. Um, I have Final Destination one, I believe. It's somewhere in the basement. But I am not, like, for whoever has Final Destination, uh, for whoever does not have Final Destination. Um, I will um, try... I'll try to send a couple packages out there. I don't know how much it costs to send to wherever you live. Um, I, I'm going to send one... one I, what I'm thinking of doing is... Since I, I will write to DVD MNU together, uh, both in a little message. And I'm thinking of sending one to you, Slipcut. I'll explain later. Anyway... I'm glad this is all happy happening. Um, until next time, uh, or if I get a gift card for iTunes, I'll just tell you about my iTunes films. And I can't really show them, but oh well. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you uh, later. Bye.